Hey what is up guys it's your boy Z and welcome back to another Minecraft vehicle tutorial. Today's tutorial is this McDonald's truck trailer made out of default which looks awesome in Flows HD as well. Thank you for all your support on these truck trailers guys it means a lot and there are plenty plenty more coming. So today's tutorial we're going to start off with our normal blocks we're going to grab ourselves some stone slabs and we'll just get a block of redstone. We're also going to grab one of these stone brick slabs, a piston, and we've got our redstone, and we'll grab some coal blocks whilst we're here, some iron frames, some buttons, and some of these iron bars. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place our first block down right here. We get in line with that. Yep, yeah, right here. Come up by two, and then place our first slab on the top. Knock this one out come across and we're going to count back by 25. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. From this point we're going to come up by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And all we're going to do is we're just going to close it in. Now from the back, we're going to count in by two and then knock out three blocks. So one, two, knock out three. Come around the other side, knock out three blocks and then come all the way to the front and then count three blocks in and then right and left and then knock those two out. So from the top, you should have something that looks like that. On the front, we're going to drop down these little holes, dig out a little section here. And with our pistons, we're going to drop our pistons here and here and then we can actually go and close off all this and then on the top we're going to put our redstone blocks directly on the pistons it's going to give you those kind of legs down the back we go we're just going to fill in with our stone brick slabs just like that and from this point directly underneath we're going to place one lever space and place another of the coal blocks and we'll just put our signs in item frames and buttons for the wheel hubs and we'll just do the same again coal block space coal block sign iron bars buttons like that now we're going to come down the back here we're just going to dig a little section here and we're going to grab our slabs again. We're just going to bring that down by an extra block. Dig a section out here. And then we're going to go and grab ourselves some cobblestone wall. Right here. Underneath, we're just going to place our cobblestone wall behind the tires. And then we're going to come up and fill them in like so and now we can just go and close all this up and then put our cobblestone wall in line with each other so there and there it's looking good just like that from this point we're just going to grab our item frames we're going to place one either side and that's going to be for our lights Grab our new blocks. We're going to grab ourselves some red wool, which we haven't got. Red wool. We're going to grab some blocks of iron. We're also going to grab ourselves some fence gates. We're also going to grab ourselves a bed. We're also going to grab ourselves some iron trap doors. And let's get rid of that and grow black wool. We're also going to grab ourselves a banner 
And we're going to get these things, guys. I'm going to do a big tutorial on how to make banners for trucks and cars and signs and stuff. So in the meantime, we're just going to grab a couple of these banners. Now on the front of the truck, we're going to come up by five with your iron block. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to bring that across by five. And we're just going to fill that in on the front. Just like that. Beautiful. From this point with your iron block, we're going to come down to the third block. I'm going to put a line of three. And then on top, we're just going to put a black wall across the top like so. With your trap doors, what we're going to do is you can put three across the front. I'm just going to leave it like that for a minute. And then we're going to grab our red wall. And we're going to run the red wall all the way down to the back. And we're going to come up by five again. We're just going to close all that off. One, two, three, four, and five. Close this off. And with your iron blocks, we're just going to fill that in. Like that. Now, it, it's up to you guys how you want to do it. You can either have it like a little door like that, or you can run it right to the top. I prefer to have the actual iron covered off like so. And we'll just leave it like that. Now in here, I'm just going to dig down again. This is for added detail, guys. We're going to put in our light gray banners on the wheel arches. And in here, what we can do is we can grab ourselves our banners and put things like that in there. Just to give it some more extra detail. I think that looks really good. Just like that. Now with our fence gates, uh, we'll just close this off. Just run the fence gates directly underneath by opening the first one. And as you can see, you can still see that kind of look. Just giving a little bit of extra detail. It's really good, especially from the side, like that. Back to our red wall, we're just gonna fill in this whole side of the truck, ready to do the logo. Now on the other side, I'm just going to run the wall all the way back and we're going to close off the top. Open my eyes now to try to change them to sunshine To be someone among other I've got to try to leave for me tonight I said tonight I don't have the time to Now I'm not going to bother doing this side because it will be exactly the same as the side that we're actually going to be doing. So now what we need to do is we need to go and grab ourselves some new blocks. Now the blocks that we need to go and grab are iron bars, some signs, buttons, we can grab some levers and a tripwire hook and an end rod, some beds, and we'll grab, grab another item frame just in case. Okay. Now with the tripwire hook, we're going to place that directly on the bottom here in the middle. With our signs, we're going to run three signs. One, two, and the third one will be your number plate. Like that. And we've got that kind of look happening. Levers, we're going to place three levers on the top. And we're just going to close them off. And there's our refrigerator for McDonald's truck. Levers on the top, pulling them down. Running iron bars. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Just like that. And levers on the bottom, facing up to 
close that off. Then what we're going to do is we're going to run buttons all along the side. And one here, and one at the top. From this point, what we're going to do as well is we're going to put some signs on the back here. One, two, and three. It's up to you if you want to enclose these item frames off. So I'm just going to leave this one off. Put the beds on, and then I'm going to close them off like so. We've got that kind of look happening. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place a lever here. And a lever here. Sorry, here at the top. And we're going to place an end rod on top of the lever. And we're just going to bring that up like that. We're going to place another two levers on the top, by the side. Bend them down. And we're going to bend one up either side. We're going to run up our iron bars like so. Just like that. So now we've got that kind of really detailed kind of look on the back. From this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down the bottom. We're going to grab our main color blocks now, which is the McDonald's symbol. We're actually going to grab ourselves some yellow concrete and we're going to use some quartz stairs. Now we're coming over to the back here and we're going to come in by three. So one, two, and three. We're going to place our first block here. So there's this three space gap. We're going to leave a space and then place another block. And then either side on an angle, we're just going to place our yellow and then one directly in the middle. And we're going to run these down the bottom. Just like that. Now with the buttons, don't worry about putting them buttons back because we're just going to leave that so we don't interrupt the actual symbol. But on the one block up, one, two, three, four, and five, we're going to knock out. And it's up to you how you want to design your quartz stairs. Anything that's just going to make it look a bit different, to make a bit of a pattern, looks like a bit of wording or stuff like that. Uh, so we'll just do it like this and uh, maybe one up there like that. Or we can change that like this. And if there's any holes whatsoever, just grab your red wool, go inside, and just close them off like that. Let's close these off as well. So there's no light coming through. Like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our buttons. We're going to place our buttons in. Now it's up to you where you want to put your buttons. I will usually put mine spaced out quite far. So you can put them there like that. Our last little step we're going to do is we're going to go and grab ourselves some stone brick stairs and a quartz slab. And once again, we're going to come to the center of the truck, which will be right here, and knock out the first block. And then we're going to count four either side. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Stone brick stairs, we're just going to place them inside like so. And then with your quartz slab, we're going to bring that up directly underneath. And we're just going to run that all the way to the end of the stairs. And that's the kind of look you got. Now you can add extra detail in if you want. I think less is more. I think that looks really good. We've got the signs in. We've got the refrigerator. We've got everything there. Come all the way down to the back. We've got our beautiful kind of layout here on the back here. And we've got some extra detail inside. I mean, I suppose you could put a sign inside there just to tie it off with that a little bit more, make it a little more cleaner. So it's all matching and running through nicely. But there's our rig for today. Signs, 
on the wheel arches, just like that. And the last thing we've got to do is grab another banner and just pop that in on the second tire as well. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is your 5 width, 5 height, 25 length McDonald's semi-trailer. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Beautiful. Anyway, guys, that is the tutorial today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to drop that like, place, comment down below, Twitter and Instagram and all that jazz sitting in the description also. Be sure to stick around for more vehicle tutorials, let's builds and live streams. And I shall see you all on the next video.